Hello everyone, this is Duke the Porcupine, and today I will be going over a basic guide on how to fish in Stardew Valley. Hope you guys enjoy it and hope it helps you out. This video will consist of what my method for fishing is, some other basic ideas for fishing, and also some basic tips and tricks to help you get the best results with your fishing and the highest quality fish possible for yourself. Fish on days with good luck. Luck plays a major role in the vast majority of things in Stardew Valley, including fishing. You'll have a much greater chance of catching goldfish on a day with good luck versus a day with bad luck. The first step to be successful in fishing in Stardew Valley is find a place that you want to fish. The best place to fish, in my opinion, is these bubbly spots you see throughout the river, lake, and ocean. These are money spots for fishing. The time between catches is greatly reduced. By this I mean that you will catch a much greater number of fish in a much smaller amount of time. These bubbly spots are sometimes hard to find, but are very worth it if you can find one. Their durations seem to be pretty random, so take advantage of them as much as you can while they last. As you can see, sometimes I've had them last for many hours in game, and I've had other times where I do two casts into it, get some algae, trash, and they only last for those first two casts. So definitely take as much advantage of them as you can. After you find a bubbly spot, or somewhere where you want to catch fish, cast your line out. If you are at a bubbly spot, try to get it as close as possible to landing on that spot. If you hit close enough to the bubbles, blue pluses will appear. That means you have hit the money spot. If you're fishing in other areas, the distance of your cast can make a huge difference on the quality of fish you will get. The further you cast, the higher chance of a gold or silver fish. It also seems that depth has a major influence on the quality of fish. The deeper the water, the better the fish. After you get a fish on the line, there are a couple different methods that I have tried out and succeeded with. One method is to hold down the mouse to control the bar. By this I mean you click and hold, which I've had mixed results with. Another method is to rapidly click. You click as fast as you can with the mouse. And I actually personally do a hybrid of these two methods. Clicking didn't raise the bar quickly enough when the fish would jump up quickly, and I felt I wasn't reacting enough when I was holding the mouse button down. I wasn't having enough uh, a quick enough release time when the mouse when the fish starts going down. So what I do is I click and hold the mouse for just about a second and then release. Click click for a second, release. Click for a second and release. And this way you're able to get momentum going up in case the fish jumps up. But you also still have the ability to lower it, unlike when you were doing the hold down method. And then you're able to get the bar lower in a reasonable amount of time. I saw major improvements in my rate of bringing in fish. Obviously, it's all a matter of preference, but a hybrid between the two methods worked best for me. Rods make little difference. The fiberglass pole can only equip bait, and the bamboo pole cannot equip anything extra. The big difference comes with the iridium rod. The iridium rod can equip different tackle, which can do a couple of things including making the fish move up and down less, the bar slowly auto pull to the fish, and increase catch rate. Many people believe that the trap bobber is one of the best tackle to use for catching fish, including legendary fish, which I will show you how to catch legendary fish in a future video. Fishing and using crab bots both increase your fishing level. If you are struggling to reel in fish, even after trying different methods, try eating food that increases your fishing skill. Chowder and trout soup increase fishing by one. Escargot and fish tacos increase fishing by two. Dish of the sea, fish stew, and lo lobster bisque increase fishing by three. Eating foods that increase luck can also be beneficial, especially on days with bad or neutral luck, as this can ne negate that effect. Well guys, that's it for this tips and tricks videos on fishing in Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys next time. Later!